Happy Sunday morning, lovely people. Coupon and Crystal here with. Say that again. It's 12.09. It is afternoon. You want to get technical about it. Have y'all guys noticed that when Richard is in a video with me, he gets real. He's very combative. <laughs> All right, guys, we are going to get something to eat. I guess we'll take you guys along. I think that will be fun. I do need to stop at the store and get a Sunday paper. I have had quite a few of you guys asking me how I get my papers. And basically, somebody gives me inserts. And I always try to purchase a paper. I try to purchase a paper or two, depending on what's in the paper. General Mills is Say what? It's a General Mills insurance. That's where you get the papers. General Mills? Yeah. What are you <laughs> talking about? The General Mills inserts. What is Richard talking about? <laughs> Y'all, he doing I don't know what he talking about. He talking about General Mills inserts. That's cereal. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I guess he talking about for himself. We got cereal in there. Richard's not even eating. I am too. That's just be. I mean, hot cereal now. I eat oatmeal. He's eating oatmeal. Anyway. Alright, guys. Went in the store. Got me a paper. I hate paying three dollars for right now. And they had aqua. Yeah, it was a record. It's three dollars. Got high point in price, which is two dollars and then greensboro news and record which is three dollars which is ridiculous you and one i sure did because i ain't no no i gotta see what's in it all right so let's see what inserts we have i already did the insert preview to the union i already did the insert preview to that and i did do the retail me not i do believe i did yeah, I did the insert preview to the Retail Me Not. And now we have the Smart Source. So now is the time of year. It's November. It's going to be Thanksgiving. Now is the time to do your stock up pantry items because you're going to see coupons for food and baking items. And I love this time of the year. Uh oh, sun's coming out, Richard. Here we go, right back in. Look at all the sun's water. coming out. Look at all the water clouds. It better not rain today. I put the wrong shoes on. Well, I, when you see me put on boots, you know that's for a reason. Anyway, uh, first of all, I put drops. my shoes on. See drops on the Stop on, it. Let to go back home. I changed my shoes, but I'm not about to mess up my kids' shoes. We went to Steinmark. When did we go to Steinmark? It wasn't last weekend, was it? It was the weekend before because Steinmark was going out of business and I think they're closed now. got them in Greensboro with your sister Mary and them shoes there. I know, right? And they are super cute. I'm going to take one off so you guys can see it. She can really show up. Yeah, I'm going to show my shoe. It's cute. Super cute little shoes. Got little gold on the little little bow on top of the shoe. It is a really cute shoe. Yeah, and it's skin. You know, it's it's real. It's skin. Okay. No, it is real cow hair fur. All right. Real cow hair. You got a little moo moo on your feet. Yeah, moo moo on my feet. I'm sorry. I like these shoes, okay? And I don't want to get wet. Just like suede. You don't want to wear suede on a rainy day. So, I like my shoes. I don't want my shoes to get messed up. You so, think that stuff I got? Yeah, as well as, you know, like with my boots, you spray it on your shoe, you think it'll mess your shoe up? I, I don't know. I ain't spraying it on my shoes. Because if it just colors down. I will have to Google that before I do that. Because I would be very upset if my cow hair starts falling off my shoes because we sprayed your well, water repellent for your temples. Cow, cow be out in the field when it rains, it's not going to hurt 
Yeah, but it's glued to it's it's glued to my shoe. It ain't on their butt. They built for that. Yeah, ain't that shoe? Bro. <laughs> this ain't built for that. You got a bunch of fur to shave the handle and they just glued it onto your feet. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> He's really making my video go all the way to the, <laughs> all the animal rights. He the people go be over here talking junk because of my shoes. I like my shoes, okay? That ain't the only pair Save I got. But I don't really wear flats. I know y'all never see my feet in videos, but I like heels. My feet really, and it's not that I have a high instep or anything. My grandmother, she had a high instep. I don't have a high instep. What it is, is that I normally wear shoes with some type of heel. And it seems as though when I do wear shoes that are flats, it's just like so uncomfortable, okay? So it's weird when I try these shoes on in the store. I got a bunch of shoes that day. But I got two pairs of Lucky Brand. Two pairs of Lucky Brand. This pair, I got another really pretty pink pair. I'm gonna show y'all the shoes when we get back to the house. Auntie. Okay, when I tried these shoes on in the store, they were comfortable, they were fine. And I tried these during, I put these shoes on, what do you see, it's to work, and I sit down all day. Yeah, look at Cracker Barrel, so there ain't no more social distance. Oh, Lord, Cracker Barrel is like the club. Anyway, guys, it was just really too snug. Did you make a deed off? It was really too snug. The shoes were too snug. So I had to go to YouTube, you know, find out how can I stretch these shoes without messing them up. So I watched the video because the shoes are leather. I watched the video basically put you some socks on, walk around in the house with the shoes on. Okay, so I put some socks on and I walked around in the house. Now that was uncomfortable. Let's be clear, that was a little uncomfortable because they were already a little tight that day. And then I turned around and put the socks on. Yeah, they were a little tight. But it was so worth it because I just did that for a few minutes because you know, they're leather, they're gonna expand your body heat and the sock, it's gonna little stretch them a little bit. So it actually worked like a champ. The shoes are feeling quite comfortable today and i did right you know i'm very funny with my shoes i can't wear two small shoes i don't have any nothing on my toes can. i don't some people some people do they'll wear two small shoes just to look cute and mess they jack their toes up i can't do that and that's I don't why they want was nothing was rubbed they, they on my toe. toe that come across over like that <laughs> yeah, i don't want my toes messed yeah, up i like my toe. feet okay they walk around like that we have to be looking cute <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to fry Richard some french fries and got grease on my foot. Okay, I got oh, we got I got a spot of grease popped on my foot. Thank God I had socks on. I was so mad. Okay, so I'm gonna have to make sure that I shea butter my foot, not messing with it. I just gotta make sure that that don't leave a residual spot on my foot. I ain't getting spots on my foot. You know, it's just some things you just, I like my feet, and I don't want my feet jacked up. So. I like them too, I don't want no. <laughs> All right, we're here to go. <laughs> we're getting ready to go with Crack Barrel, guys. All right, Crooked Feet. Hey, <laughs> some people might have Crooked Feet, Richard. Oh. Well. They can't help it. Well. They might can't help it, but if they was wearing two small shoes, they could have helped that. Yeah, see, that it developed that right there. You might want to think about that when you buy the shoes too small. <laughs> yeah, we throw it in. Oh, gosh. So look at the barrel. Oh, lovely people. I tell you, we had to change venue. We going to Mimi's Bistro because Cracker Barrel is... Got too many folks up in here. They ain't going by they got social the, They got, they ain't social distancing. The hostess don't need to be the hostess, okay? Cause she can't handle these people. <laughs> she can't handle it. She can't handle it. These two little girls, I'm gonna call them little girls, okay? They holding up the whole freaking line. 
people are actually stepping out of line. Basically, we're standing the line to the hostess, okay? We're trying to give our name and our telephone number so we can go wait in the car for our table. All right, so it's a couple in front of us. They get tired of waiting. They just get out of line. In front of them was these two younger ladies and they standing there having a full conversation with each other. So now we're starting to question, are we even in the hostess line? So Richard asked her, are you waiting? Are you waiting in line? What's she say? Yes, I am. <laughs> Look, girl, <laughs> get your ass out the line, okay? Get yes. out the line. Yes, if you're the not, line. if you're not, there was a discrepancy apparently with them. They must have made a reservation online or something, whatever. I don't care. But why are you holding up the line of people that are standing here legitimately wanting to give their number and wait for their table? It's already an hour wait. You have to turn around and wait for them to get their stuff straight. I ain't got time for it. I called Bistro Mimi's and I said, How long is y'all wait? She said, They don't have no wait right now. Oh, That's so we're going. going to the left. So, oh, and we got the arrow. You, we ain't going now because you done let that let, let the thing. Baby, if I were to put you in front of all them cars, you like, No, mm -mm, yes, no, it's, yes, it's, it's a this it's distinct no, difference. For no, some reason, no. when we are turning. <laughs> And traffic is coming this way. Richard slows down. Do not slow. Yes, down. he do. He slow down. He be like, he like he going slow motion. That's where because they on my hurt. side. That's where I be like, get hurt. me out the line I of feel traffic. The same way I'm when I'm on that side. No, of the honey. No. That's Alex. Mm -hmm. I mean, Alex. She, she know. That's Alex. The son what you gonna Alex. ask Alex for? Because if Alex goes, if he goes, driver. I'm not. Yes, you are. You are worse than your daughters. But that's a lie. I'm not a reckless driver, okay? That's not true. That's why I'm, I'm not a reckless driver. I'm a very safe driver. I might speed at time to time. So is that safe but, or not? Um, yeah. Do you, if you're speeding, is that considered safe? Get back with me on that. Mm -hmm. Lovely people, mm -hmm. comment. The comments below. <laughs> Why are you looking that way? Because I'm trying to figure out what, what what are you trying to say? Have I put you in driver. danger? But let's talk about how many times you've actually... I have never put you in danger. Shh. Are you sitting here Shh. with all limbs? <laughs> exactly. And yeah. only because no, I spoke up. No. I spoke up. Can you get me out the way of that car? How many times have I said that? Not too many times. I shouldn't have to say that at all. <laughs> no, poor, exactly. Some people want to just drive. to have something to say just to say it. No, no, no. I have I an promise 18, I have my commercial it's driver's great. license. What that mean? She don't have nothing but a class C driver's license. So that, that you do, y'all people do the math on that. What does that mean? You don't drive trucks anymore. What's that I, mean? I still have my license. I do. And have my, my you, you got driving. them. You capable. So, are you? I could if I wanted to. No, if I, I said, go are and you? get it. Are you? I can I mean, if I want no, to. No, not if I, I can. I can do anything no, I put my mind no. to. I no, think I'd approve that. No, my question <laughs> is, can you now? Can you get behind an 18-wheeler and say, No, because I don't have that my license. My point exactly. My point exactly. Exactly. See, some things you just have to just get straight to core, straight to the meat of the core, and just you know, men, don't be afraid to address this to your wife. If, you, if there's something that she don't know how to do, just address it. <laughs> nip it in the bud. Yeah, nip it in the bud. You about to get people nipped in their bud. Nipped in the bud. <laughs> I ain't nobody better not listen to you. Nip it in the bud. No, you don't need to I ain't saying going so crazy. I ain't saying going crazy. <laughs> Now you you got a hot headed wife like mine. You got you got to stay in ground. Cause with me, they think I'm timid. <laughs> they can just walk, walk all over me. First of all, I, I'm getting so much enlightenment in this video. I didn't know that I was a high head number one. She's a high head. <laughs> and ain't nothing timid about your tail. <laughs> you yeah, nah, nah. Mm -mm. <laughs> you was not timid. Where you got that from? He ain't timid. 
So I guess we're gonna go to Mimi's now, guys. Um, well, that was my first suggestion to go to Mimi's. That was his first suggestion. This is the reason why I don't be wanting to go to Mimi's. Is because she Mimi's said they don't, like cook food, don't cook cook Mimi's food. Mimi's don't right. do my darn eggs right. It's just some places you know. I want my eggs very soft scramble in fact. Well, let's try let's go a new place. Let's try a new place. Huh? Don't don't the tavern have a brunch? I don't know about that. Go to Mimi's. Mimi's is fine. I don't have to get breakfast. You can get breakfast. He likes the smoked salmon omelet. That's fine. You can get that. There's nothing wrong with that. I may get my French onion soup again and get a different sandwich. Of, yeah, get a different bread. Get I would just get a different sandwich. bread. I they would get toasted a different my bread. ciabatta. We went there the other day for lunch and I got a half of a sandwich. Was it half a sandwich? She got more what bread than she sandwich? got. No, was that the chicken sandwich we had? It was a chicken breast. Um, But it was on a ciabatta like a ciabatta bread but they toasted it and once they toasted it See, you know, ciabatta has a, a kind of a firm Katie Katie how they pronounce ciabatta bread and she's gonna eat ciabatta. order that. See, ciabatta she's gonna eat that okay. it looks, it's very thick it like has a firm kind of texture to it but once they toasted it it made it hard it wasn't, I, I'm a texture type of person and I don't like things that once I eat it, it makes my mouth sensitive inside. It's just like, uh, uh. sensitive mouth. You know what? I'm catching all the shadies flying over here. I'm gonna put my glasses on. And you know what, guys? You know, did you Speaking get my of glasses? glasses? No. My shades I didn't think the sun was gonna be out, but I brought my shades just in case. I found so many cute items at the clearance <laughs> in Steinmark. I'm just saying, I just, I just love these, love these shades, okay? These are actually, I think they were Jessica Simpson. No, they're Oscar de la Lente. Oscar de la Lente, okay? But love these shades, okay? Um, found some great, great deals at Steinmark. I think they're really officially gone out of business now, don't you? Yeah. Know? I think they're really closed now. It's a shame. I hate to see Steinmark go. I like Steinmark. Steinmark, I just like them. They have they have what unique and different. What are you trying to say? He was like, Oh, I know you don't want me to tell the lovely people what you did last night. What He's a night? fan of Rance Allen, okay? Y'all know anything about this man. He was a gospel singer. R&B okay? singer too. He was an he was R&B, R &B singer and too. Gospel, yeah. And gospel. I didn't know him in either genre, okay? I Once I met him and he ran out, I'm like, who is that? So I didn't know who he was. So sadly, he passed on yesterday and Richard had to go have him a moment in the office with the keyboard and listen to him some Rans Allen songs, okay? So you talking about me needing Tisha for Steinmark. Well, yes, I do need my tissue this day, too. <laughs> Start talking about it, I got you. Oh, gosh. That's she said she swears out that he couldn't sing. That's, that's, that's what, my personal that's opinion, personal guys. Thing, I'm sorry. She's I, not in a, my she's opinion. Not a, she's not a quartet. She, she no. probably don't even think Daryl Coley can sing. I don't think Daryl Coley is. I'm not quite sure who that is. I've probably heard him before. Yeah, see, she don't, she's young. She's kind of young behind the ears. <laughs> no. I don't know about that, what that means. Okay, I don't really care for quartet singing. No, That's not don't. quartet singing. Right, quartet singing. That's a nice fence right there. I don't care for quartet That is singing. a nice fence right there. Catch the light, catch the light. We got the air, the catch the light. Okay, looking at the darn fence. See what I'm talking trained. about? Perfect example right there. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Try to kill me. Try to kill me, loving people. Yeah, that mouth, it kills me every day, loving people. Every day. <laughs> Richard, you needs to be glad you got such a lovely wife. Well, I never. <laughs> Man, you never will. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I
my husband. <laughs> We're gonna go in here. We're gonna lay some ground rules for Richard. We're well, gonna lay some ground rules for her because she can't eat. She is so picky fied. <laughs> picky fied. Is picky that the, I don't even think that's a word. Well, it is my word. <laughs> picky fied. Richard. Picky fied. Richard. Oh, <laughs> let me tell you what he did the other day. What day was that we came here? You was you was off. He went to the eye doctor. Oh, that was Wednesday. Wednesday. He go, he go order for me. He go order for me. He got his muffin. That's the only reason why we're really coming here. Richard likes that blueberry muffins, okay? So, he gonna tell the lady, what you tease? I think he said, you can order her a muffin. Like, yeah, you was I was like, I was planning on eating to... some of your muffin. Oh, I was not right. planning on needing a whole muffin. There was no need to. There was no need to share, yeah. apparently. He wasn't trying to she share. Sharing, sharing is caring. Sharing. Don't That's you know she that? Said. She was saying sharing is caring, but at that same time, I, that is sharing. I just went on and made you have a whole one to yourself, and you can eat on it anytime you want to. See, now if you would have ate some of mine, we would have both been sitting there wanting another muffin. I know I would have. And there's just no need when I can just get you what you want. Man, if you don't want to share with your wife, just go ahead and give her another piece. I mean, get her another whatever you got. That way you ain't got to be lacking. You got to have no hunger pains going on. Just because you want to share. Now, if the budget is tight now, of course share. But if you can afford it. Well, happy wife go. and happy life. Yeah, you need to keep that in the forefront of your mind. Because simple obedience will what? Hmm? What was simple obedience to? Come on there. Go on there. Keep I don't doing. quite remember. It will bless your life. No, it'll bless yours. I was, I was like I said, it'll bless your life. No, simple obedience will bless, bless your, your life. life. That's yeah. what that's, that's bless my. bless your life. It'll bless your life. It's simple obedience to your lovely wife. It'll bless your life. <laughs> your life. <laughs> <laughs> ass. Will not admit it. <laughs> ass. Just an ass. You're going to get me something to eat. Today is Sunday. They better not have no darn ass. ass was in the Bible. Bible. Yeah, they were not in that content. I ain't never said Jesus said, y'all get your asses out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got kidding with you. <laughs> he probably wanted to at some point. Oh, I bet you they was getting on his nerves. He was reading unexpressed thoughts. I'm pretty sure he was. <laughs> He probably injected a thought in that head <laughs> for him not to even say it. You ever thought about that? We're going to be We don't leave Jesus alone. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> I can't with you. All right, we're going in here to eat. Um, I'm still a Cowboy fan, even though we're losing like crap. My girl call us the, what you call us? Y'all cowgirls. You know, any you know, a good wife support her husband in a football team, mm -hmm. but not with mine. She just no, I'll be talking junk. If I ain't talk junk, you think something wrong? Well, right. something I think something wrong with you anyway. You, it, it, it still ain't stopping anything. Too bad, just stuck with me now. <laughs> so we're going into Mimi's. No weight, and here is the infamous blueberry muffins that are served warm with butter. This is the real reason why we came to Mimi's because Richard wants to get his blueberry muffins, and I will admit they are tasty. Lovely people, so now we are going over to Whole Foods to get some aloe vera juice for my hair. Just riding, we just riding because Richard don't know where the heck we going. You just ride. Well, lovely people, we are back at the house and we are going to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed spending your day with us. We didn't do very much except run the street. Yeah, <laughs> what did we do? Is that what you call it? Run the streets? Yeah. No, no, you and your sister, y'all actually run the streets. Y'all go to the thrift stores and CES and everywhere else. I bought a shopping and coupon and shopping. That's not the movie. Really? 
Well, lovely people, we hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday evening. I think we're getting ready to go couponing, and y'all will see that in the next video. <laughs> she getting ready to go couponing. Because y'all going to see that in another video. <laughs> we ain't clipping and saving nothing in this video by their $10, $15 aloe vera. Ridiculous. We'll see how it does. The whole big jug, I mean... She is. I guess a whole big old jug. She, she is frugal. I guess she thought she was going to get that for a dollar fifty. Frugal. I am frugal. What's your point? Thought she, yeah, I guess she was going to get that for a dollar fifty. Somewhere. I probably should have just bought me a plant and it would have been cheaper, but it's too messy. I don't feel like doing that. I didn't care for the smell last time. She's going to spray 10 So I don't know what, I don't know what away. that's going to smell like. She's going she to be walking around. I have to put around. some oil in it and make it smell good. Some flies going to be flat around there. That wasn't funny, was it? <laughs> you know what? Have you even Richard always <laughs> seems to find humor in my expense. I don't know what it smells like. Hold the camera. This is the juice that I got from Whole Foods. It is a gallon of whole leaf aloe vera juice so let me know in the comments below if you guys have ever tried this before but hopefully this is going to be good nourishment to my hair okay she's opening up the juice man it's gonna smell like juice they have honeybees everywhere i need it you got smell i mean <laughs> say what yeah. You gonna smell it? Yes. I'm gonna smell it. Juice myself. It's bubbling. Oh no! I don't think you're gonna like that for your hair. It's kind of like that. Uh, what's that juice? That that uh, that uh, that apple juice? You know what I'm talking about? That big tall that come in that brown bottle. That apple juice. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -mm. What apple juice? You think it's like apple juice? It's got a. It got a smell. It's got a citrus smell to it. It's got a plant smell. I mean, you know. It's got a sweet smell taste to it. Oh, well, that might be good then. To me, it smelled better than that other one. You're going to see how that do. Well, you see. I can it. always cut it with a little water, but I want the I thought, full but it benefits. Told, it told you to put something in there. It says, I thought it said olive oil. No, that was somebody's video we were watching. It was saying you could, she could put 50, 50, 50. 50 olive oil, 50 aloe vera juice. Well, we'll see if you got fruit flies hanging around you and walk you be like lemons. <laughs> what? A bunch of fruit flies. What? A bunch of fruit flies behind me. No, but I am not even going <laughs> to justify this with a response, okay? And he'll be the main fly flying around me. Hmm. Hmm. How about that? What's wrong with that? You should pour it then. I was just trying to, uh, trying to dog on be funny at your wife's expense. We're going to go back to this again, Richard. You're going to get it right before we get this video. Well, well, Simple I'm going to let y'all know some fruit flies really start hanging around. I'm going to be, when we do a video, I'm so, I told y'all them flies going to be around the head. She's fighting them now. <laughs> you know what? Oh, my gosh. We're going to see, but my darn hair, we got to... I got a baby her right now. She's going through. She going through. She's in recovery right now. She's like being six months of recovery. God, I told my that's terrible. My hair, my hair, well, that was before, May when I flat ironed my hair. We sitting up here in freaking uh, well, November. Not, we in is, November. This is not straight. It's got curl at the end. But before, uh, before, you know, before it was just real straight. Now it's got the little curl in there. The curl a lot works then. I've been cutting it. Why are you cutting? I've been cutting it every time. Just cut a little bit off. Cut a little bit. Cut a little bit. Something wrong with that. No, it ain't. She ain't been to no licensed cosmetologist, mm -hmm. so she just whacking. I don't know what to say about that. Of course, she don't come to professionals mm -hmm. and that. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> to diagnose her hair. I try. Just don't be whacking off your hair. You ain't. Mm, excuse me. All right, guys. I hope y'all have a great rest of your Sunday evening, and we will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.